approach putting AI or chatbots into your event is actually very similar to approaching hiring someone for a job. When you hire someone for a job, you know what you want them to do, you know what skill set you're looking for, and you know what price range you're looking for. You can take that same approach to AI and chatbots. And actually, you can find AI and chatbots at the starter level, at the beginner level, entry level, all the way up through what you might call executive. Um, so you need to figure out what is your event need, uh, what do you want this chatbot or AI to do, and then can it prove that it can do what you need it to do. Uh, chatbots are a really great entry into AI in general because chatbots can be very good um, at even a entry level. So a chatbot can answer um, questions quickly and very accessibly that um, sometimes that same information is hard to get in other places. So for instance, you can ask a chatbot things like where's registration or where's check-in or when, where's the next keynote or when is this specific speaker speaking. You can create a chatbot relatively cheaply and easily that can answer those type of questions very well. Uh, it, when it gets more complicated is when you expect your chatbot to answer anything in the world. Um, you can, you know, you wouldn't walk up to event staff and ask them specifically something totally random like did the Steelers win yesterday and expect them to know that. And you need to have those same expectations with a chatbot. It needs to do the job you hired it for and you need to communicate to your attendees what is the job they were hired to do. And then as long as everything is in alignment there, you can, like I said, cheaply and pretty easily create a chatbot that accomplishes that job that you give it. Um, there is a lot going on in the future of both AI and chatbots, but as you consider what your event needs, chatbots can be a great place to start and experiment and then you can grow from there.